Senate and House elections start October 19th. The University of Iowa hosted a public forum to help those on campus get the information they need before voting rolls around. DITV politics reporter Mara DeSico has more. Candidates for the Iowa House and Senate attended a public forum to answer questions that you Iowa faculty, staff, and students may have. Candidates running for the 91st, 85th, 45th, 46th, 92nd, and 89th district participated. Questions ranged from economic to social, most notably the way that a college campus's culture affects um, politics. I don't think it so I have not had the opportunity to see what that uh, mandatory free speech training is. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure it's good. The way the funding affects education also came up. The consensus came down to the idea that coursework had to be monetizable. I think we have to allow new programs in, but then we have to see what programs aren't working. And then we can't keep throwing money after programs that don't seem to be yielding for the university. Hot button topics were not spared at the forum. For example, the ban of abortion and the effects that it would have on medicine and unrepresented communities were discussed. Under no circumstances would I be in support of banning a, a textbook or a class or knowledge on medical procedures um, because I think that sets a really dangerous precedent. Early voting for the November 6th election begins October 19th. These candidates will appear on the ballot. From the Iowa Memorial Union, Maura DeSico, DITV.